This is a grown man among boys, a monster rebound and the putback against two defenders. Zion is back and he is scary and so are the Pelicans. Let me break down just how they absolutely blew out KD, Kyrie and the Nets on their home floor and why I believe that if they stay healthy the Pelicans are gonna be a contender in the west. What up everybody my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. Look at how free flowing their offense is. We got the pass to Ingram, he goes middle against Durant and as the help comes the pass back to Zion who drives inside and with all the attention on him right here he just flips it to Valanchunas who's all alone under the basket for an easy dunk. Great interior passing. Similar thing here, Ingram attacks the paint but loses the ball and as Herb Jones recovers he does the same thing attacking inside and another pass underneath the basket for a similar easy finish. This young team really knows how to play the right way. Off the inbound McCullum is open and could take this shot but he notices this open driving lane here, attacks and with Claxton coming over to protect the rim once again we got the extra pass to a cutting Zion and this is too easy for him. Speaking of Williamson it seems like everything was easy for him in this game as Brooklyn did not have a single player who could match up with him. They're really thin at the big man position as it is with only Claxton playing that role so as you can see it was bully ball throughout the entire game. 25 points and 9 rebounds for him in his first official game back in a while. That's a terrific start of the season. Brandon Ingram was just as good with 28 and 7 going head to head against KD on a couple of possessions and getting the best of him. But it wasn't all isolations, check out this great play call to get him open. Starting out on the wing, Alvarado comes over and signals for a cut to the basket. His defender expects that and stops here in order to switch it. But at the last second, Jose switches the angle of his screen so now Ingram goes middle and there's no help for O'Neal who's trailing and gets hit with another screen on the handoff so Brandon is open at his favorite spot on the floor and this is a swish. Here's another nice play design with some fake action between Graham and Zion getting the attention of the defense before finally Devante getting into position for what's going to be a double screen and a baseline cut to the other corner for Trey Murphy. A phenomenal 3 point shooter gets a good look and buries it. So let me get this straight. The Pelicans have two stars, a veteran point guard who by the way is a sniper both from mid range and downtown. They have a legitimate true big man, oh and the top 5 defensive stopper in Herb Jones who can make freaky plays like this one on a nightly basis. My goodness, they got solid bench and on top of that playing the right way. Unselfish, moving without the ball, screening, cutting and making phenomenal extra passes like this laser right here. This is why I was so hyped preseason for them and I'm even more hyped now. The great Bill Simmons seems to agree with me. Unfortunately for Brooklyn, I do not know how they didn't address one of their biggest weaknesses from last season which is size. They gave up 21 offensive rebounds. 21. If you don't know how much that is, the league leaders in offensive rebounding last season had 14 per game. That means that the Nets made the Pelicans look like the monsters from Space Jam getting a third more rebounds than the league leaders last year. And you will not win a lot of games like that. I had him at number 4 in the east in my season predictions but I'm already worried about it. Talk about overreacting to the first game of the season. As fans though, that's what we love to do. That's it for now, subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out.